Hey everybody, this is Deadeye here. I am gonna show a little Team Fortress 2 gameplay, but the commentary will be um, on my channel and focused about what I plan to do. So, right now, I have published GTube TV about three weeks ago, maybe? Um, and it didn't get as many views as I hoped but you know I only have 27 subscribers so I'm sort of a, a new kid on the YouTube block you could say um, and my my skills aren't the best uh, I am trying to get better right now I do uh, run a really company I know I do put that uh, company thing in there, uh, but I do, I do plan to actually trademark that name, uh, Dead Rock. So right now we're, we're just called Dead Rock Films. Uh, I have a decent group of people helping me out, uh, bringing their own skills to the table, which any community or company needs. Um, so I will be working on more community related projects I will have I will get more help uh, and I will I, I do want to get more of the, pe the, the team involved in the videos um, because basically they do a lot of you know the back the backstage work you could say they help with the logo they help with uh, some voices and uh, the skins actually I had a friend uh, Mr. Easy, who knows how to skin uh, the models from uh, the citizens that I needed, and he did a good job. I thought it was I, it was a little funny for me because I asked him for uh, a certain. I only needed one of them done, and he ended up doing all the models except the one I needed, <laughs> which um it. It was it was funny, but I I used them anyway, and I figured it wasn't a big deal. And um, so basically, I I sent GTube TV into I sent it to uh, Machinima Respawn their email, and I heard back. Um, I'm not sure if that's like an automated message. It probably is, but I sent uh, the video. Uh, to them, they uh, responded saying, "All I need to do is reply saying I agree um, uh, to uh, something." I'm not sure if I did it right. I said yes, I agree the way they told me, but I haven't seen. I sent that email last night, and I haven't. I haven't seen it on the channel or a response back. Um, so I, I don't know. They're they're probably editing the credits or something because I had my own thing at the end, and you know, <laughs> it uh, wouldn't have been it wouldn't have made much sense on the Machinima channel. Um, but so I'm hoping that it will show up in <laughs> by tomorrow. If it's not up by tomorrow, uh, I'll probably think that they didn't uh, put it up, but I I don't know what Machinima does. Uh, as far as I know, they grew a lot since I first, when they first uh, were around, I uh, I didn't pay too much attention, you know, and I probably should have. But um, basically, I will hope to put some serious videos out. Um, I do want to stretch out to Battlefield 3, which, when it comes out, I do plan to get it, um, and get some people in my, uh, little group, uh, to have the, the game at their disposal so they can help me with filming, and, um, sort of a little treat for them also for helping me out so much, um, but basically, that series will be serious. I um I don't plan to 
make it like a like more like a gameplay video. It will be sort of trying to play out a story almost. I don't know how I'll do it, but I will try. Um, the idea is to keep my the person you know safe because it's supposed to be like he it's telling his story and I can't have him dying every uh, few moments uh, so I will have to do a little what some people call pussy gameplay hiding a lot of the time not really getting up into action and whatnot I'm not sure how I'll do it I'll see how things play out but I do I will be coming out with two other series that I will be able to start immediately. Um, the first one will be uh, focused on um, int uh, Integral Gaming's Perp Server. Uh, if anyone, if no one knows what uh, Perp is, it's Pulse R Effect Roleplay. Um, the actual community who made that. I'm not sure if they're still running or if uh, I think the creator of it retired. I'm not sh I'm not sure. Don't take your information from me about that. Um, but I, I remember that uh, that community. Um, it, was, uh, it was good and then they shut down unexpectedly. I was like, oh, they died. Uh, it's weird. But um, Integral Gaming's Perp server is custom. They have, you know, custom things in there. I'm actually with them right now. Uh, some of you might have thought I was with Communistic Gaming, but actually, it's the same people. <laughs> the owner decided to uh, give the give the name a little change up, a uh, different logo, things like that. Uh, he thought Communistic Gaming didn't really fit the community anymore. Whatever his reasons were. So basically, I am with them right now. I do like to be a part of uh, a community. Um, I w I was with Convict Gaming, but that I really shouldn't have been there. That wasn't a good place. Uh, it not anymore anyway. Uh, things just got out of hand really um, with them, but. Right now, I do have a few threads up in the Integral Gaming site, which is integralgaming.net, which I'll have linked in the video description, as long as this commentary doesn't crash on me again. Um, but right now, uh, the, th the actual forum section that the owner had set me up with um, hasn't been put up since the... Um, the site was changed. Uh, they, they completely changed the site instead of just changing the name. Um, so I used to have a whole forum section up, uh, but he hasn't set that up, so I'll be waiting on that. Um, but that's where you can find out what's going on. I'll have an update thread where I'll be posting maybe every day. I'll try and post every day. I post more often when I'm actually working on a project than when I'm just laying back and relaxing for a couple days. Um, but I do I do love to put uh, videos. I do love to make them. It's, it's a hobby, really. I try to make it a hobby anyway. <laughs> um, but it, it's definitely not a hassle, and I hope it will never become one. I, that's not the plan. I uh, I hope to continue and put some more Gary's Mod uh, Machinimas up. I love <laughs> making Gary's Mod Machinimas. I'm not the best at it, but I am. I am trying. Um, some people actually thought I was trying to copy the. Gary's Mod 80 box, which is not true. In a sense, it is the same. It is the same concept, um, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not copying uh, the characters. I'm not using all the the characters the way Daz uh, Dazbushit does. I'm not sure if that's how you say his name or not. Um, 
I'm not trying to copy. Um, I do. I did have one scene that was uh, similar. That was very. Uh, it was the same movie scene, but I did it differently than uh, Daz Bashit did. Um, and some people, after seeing that, thought I was trying to copy him, but that's. <laughs> That's not true. He is he is a lot of my inspiration, but I'll never blatantly just copyright his crap. Uh well not crap, it's not crap, it's very good. But um I uh I do hope to put more of those out. I did finish one episode of Box Heads and one episode of G two T V of course. I will probably um, put some more Team Fortress 2 uh, gameplay up with some commentary that's actually about Team Fortress. Um, but this this is more more of an update video than anything. I don't know what else there is really to talk about. Um, well, actually, for one. Focusing on the video, some of you might notice uh, maybe the hu the HUD and how there are six grenades <laughs> instead of four. Um, the HUD is custom. I downloaded that. Um, uh, the community HUD. I think I um, some of you may know who I see Tooney is. Um, he has this HUD, which. Uh, I thought it was neat because I uh, I used it too, so it's like oh I can relate. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was uh, cool. Um, he also had the uh, the yellow uh, hit notifications, which I also had. Uh, so because yellow doesn't really blend into the Team Fortress 2 environment, it's easy to see. I was thinking about making it green, but. Green is unattractive. Yellow is more of a simple color that I'll be able to see. I like to see how much damage I'm actually doing so I know. Really, I get an estimate of how much health the other uh, player that I'm in a combat with has. I don't know, I just find it easier to play. The green dot, actually. I. Uh, when I saw one of Icy Tunney's videos, I was like, mm, green. That's that's interesting. And I always had the the dot, but I changed it. It's now sort of a ring instead of a dot. Um anyway. <laughs> I uh I don't really know what uh the community will think of my uh, videos, I do. I don't. I do try and sort of be a people pleaser with uh, my uh, projects because you know I do want people to like them for one. I don't. I do try and just incorporate what I want in the videos. I do want to make them mine. I don't want to make them uh, someone else's. Just what someone wanted. Um, the Dead Rock team does help me out with ideas. Um, but for the most part, GTube TV is basically all me. I do all the editing, I do all the filmmaking, I do um, the sound effects, the everything. I don't own the sound effects or the uh, anything really, I just <laughs> put it into films. Uh, the sound effects are from YouTube and uh, other. Uh, songs that I have uh, on my computer, uh, and Valve, of course, owns Team Fortress 2 for things like that, and Gary Newman owns Gary's Mod. Um, but uh, I do, <laughs> I do try and get as many credits as I can because I don't want people to think I'm taking credit for anything. Uh, that's not mine. So, for now, I do believe that is all I had to talk about, and I gotta keep this video under 15 minutes, so I will keep you guys updated. That's all for now.